But you figured out how to use this transaction system, but you're probably wondering, well, how do I access this information when I need it? So we're going to do a quick overview of that right now. If you guys have set up an IQ to be emailed or text, you're going to get that as soon as that transaction is created. You'll also get it anytime that checklist has been changed, anything's been uploaded to it. Anytime your transaction administrator has touched it, you're going to know. Here's an example of the email that comes through. It has the subject line of transaction change. It includes the address of the transaction so you guys know right away what got changed. This is a really nice email they send over to you guys. Right here you have a click here button that will take you directly to the checklist, just straight to it. They also include a really nice summary snapshot of where you're at in your transaction. So if you don't have time to clock, log into IQ, no big deal. It's all sitting right here on that email. Uh, if you guys don't want to be there, or if you're already hanging out in IQ, head over to your financial section and click My Transactions. That's going to bring you here to this screen. Um, again, they've really worked hard at giving you guys the quickest view possible. We want you to look, understand where you're at, and get on to the next thing. So this is a great little summary here. You can click on any of these. It will pull up the transaction for you. You could click on your Transactions tab to search for a different transaction. You can come up here and search the street address, decide if you want to look at your required documents unaccepted. You can look at the sides that you're representing. You can even look at old listings, guys. There's so many options in here. This is available to you 24-7, so don't be shy. Come in here and play.